Uh, I just never, I, I voted for Obama, but I never, I always thought, I think he thinks we're a little bit more of a team than we are. <laughs> like, here's the thing, sir, we get you elected, and then you do shit, and then you tell us about it. That, that's how I thought this was gonna roll. <laughs> oh, no. No, not with Obama. See, he's on the TV all the time, America. I'm gonna need your help on this. Sir, 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 we are busy, okay? <laughs> Shark Week is on, I don't know if you're familiar with that. That's not something you tape. You gotta watch that live. It always sucks on tape. Doomsday Preppers, I have eight episodes. I've yet to watch. I don't even watch reality, but if you have never seen that show, I think it's the craziest you can be. They are preparing for the end of the world, these people. They all think it's something different. A dirty bomb, um, uh, the government's gonna take over, or they have crazy, all these ideas of how the world's gonna end, but they prepare differently. They have bunkers, they have medicine for life. But what's even more bizarre than what they're doing is every single one of them is married. <laughs> wow, really? I have normal, nice friends that can't get a date, and, and you, you... <laughs> How'd you throw that out on christianmingle.com and get a hit back? That's all I want to know. How do you just toss that out there like it's normal? Hobbies? Preparing for the end of the world. But <laughs> you can't throw something else in, Tannis. I mean, what? No. And then somebody hit you back. OMG, me too. Meet me at Costco. Lots of things to buy. Can't wait. This is going to get weird. Waiting for shit to get weird. Wait for shit to get weird. Obama is always, always reaching out. God love him. America, if you agree with me on how to solve this financial crisis, I'm going to need you to email your congressmen and representatives. I'm like, well, then I'm going to need you to email me who they are. <laughs> because unless they're hosting Shark Week, or preparing for the end of the world, I am probably not familiar with their work. Because the ticket didn't say Obama Madigan. The ticket said Obama Biden. So if you need some help, I suggest you get that smiling Irishman you hired out of a bar, who is my favorite person on the planet, by the way. Because there's a reason he's always smiling. Because he was smart enough to go for vice president. Yes. All the alcohol, none of the problems. That is the job you go for. If you have, what do you want to be number one for? Blah, 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 blah. Bring, cut your ego down a level. There's nothing wrong with Air Force Two. Same plane, different number, same plane. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, and you don't even have to answer anything. What do you think about the finance? I don't know, I really don't want to talk about it. My, the ice in my margarita is melting though, and I have to go to a funeral in Turkey of a person I've never heard of, and I gotta act sad, so I'm gonna need a few more drinks, and then I'll talk to you guys later. Obama, I really think he starts out on such a high intellectual level sometimes. I saw him two months ago on TV, he just, just gave a random speech, he goes, America, I'm here to update you about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Really? It's gonna start right there? Well, I'm here to update you, sir. That's funny, I have an update too. Up until six months ago, I thought Fannie Mae was a candy factory in Chicago. <laughs> Thank you. And I couldn't understand why a candy factory was allowed to hand out home loans. And then... <laughs> I really couldn't understand who thought to go there. Like, that's brilliant. Like, well, hey, the bank said no. Why don't we go out of the candy factory and see if they'll... <laughs> they seem to be doing well. And, and I thought Freddie Mac was a candy bar that they made I hadn't yet tasted in it. And I thought, I'm going to look for that at the airport, and I hope it has caramel in it. They speak about these things as if we're all updated. The deficit, they say that as if it's a real tangible number. The deficit, it's three trillion, seven thousand, eight hundred and four. Now is the time to get concerned. <laughs> really? 
now? Why? Why now? You're in charge. You didn't panic at two trillion. I think you're bullshitting. I don't. I don't believe you. I don't believe. I don't believe you.